Hi everyone, my name is Ruthie Van Gorder and this is today's Mindful Minute. So, um, what does it mean to live in the moment? It's a great question. What does it mean to live in the moment? Living in the moment means being conscious and aware of the present, of the here and now, this moment, with all of your senses, being aware, right? And not dwelling on the past or really worrying or focusing on the future. Living in the moment means, you know, really being in the here and now. And living in the moment is the basis for mindfulness, right? It's what mindfulness is, is our ability to live in the moment, truly, without um, judgment and without, um, again, worrying about the past or thinking so much about the future. So our quote today is from a man named James Baraz. And here's what he says. Mindfulness is simply being aware of what is happening right now without wishing it were different. Enjoying the pleasant without holding on when it changes, which it will. Being with the unpleasant without fearing it will always be this way, which it won't. So I think that's a great um, quote to remind us what mindfulness is, right? The, the pleasant is not going to always stay. And the unpleasant is not going to always be there, though it feels like it is in the moment. Mindfulness is being aware of this moment and not clinging to the past or the future. So today we're going to talk about being in the moment. When we are mindful, when we are truly in this moment, being aware of the here and now, great things are happening in our brain, right? Research shows time and time again that the size of the gray matter of our brain changes with mindful practice. The amygdala are those almond shaped um, areas of our brain in that primal primitive part of our brain that are responsible for stress. And they're getting a lot of action these days. We're stressed, there's a lot of change. But when we choose to be intentional about living in the moment, when we choose to be intentional about mindful um, you know, presence in, in our days, we can shift the size of that gray matter of our amygdala and make it smaller by mindful practice, living in the moment. Research shows that this is possible over time to change that area of our brain, that amygdala that's responsible for our stress responses. Research also shows that we can increase the area of the prefrontal cortex, the area of our brain that's responsible for planning and organizing and controlling our emotions. We can enlarge that area of our brain through mindful practice of living in the moment. So this is, this is a big deal, right? What we focus on matters. And when we focus on the moment, this moment, great things can happen within the structure of our brain that can help us respond to the next moment in our life without reacting in a way that um, we wished we hadn't. It can help us learn to respond to the moments in our lives in ways that we can be proud of or that we can live with, right? Or that we're aware of. Just to be aware in the present moment without judgment. That's mindfulness. And today we're going to talk about living in the moment. So here's what we're going to do. And I, I um, borrowed this little acronym practice from a friend, from Erica Ebert, who does a lot of this mindfulness stuff. And here's what we are going to, um, to do. We're going to use the acronym MOMENT. How appropriate, right? M-O-M-E-N-T, MOMENT. So the M stands for move your body. Move it. M, move your body. This is how we become present in the moment. Get up. 
if you can't get outside and just run in place, stretch, um, you know, twist in your chair, whatever you got to do, get up and do some yoga, downward dog, get outside. It's been beautiful around here lately. Um, go for a walk, just move. M is move your body. That's M. O is observe how you feel. Notice just by moving your body, just by getting up and stretching. How do you feel? Notice that. Observe it. And there's another M. Move your body. Again, that's how important it is. Chances are we're seated at a computer, at some type of a screen, a whole lot more than we have been in the past. So it is vital that you get up and move your body. So it's in this acronym twice, right? Move your body. Get up. Get moving. Do something. Be creative. Or just stand and stretch, but just move. Get that heart rate up a little bit. So E stands for exhale. We are really good at the inhale. When we hyperventilate, we do a lot of successive inhales, right? We are almost pre-hyperventilating all day long these days. We are really focused on our inhale. E in this moment acronym stands for exhale. Focus on your exhale. Make it long and slow, right? Stretch it out. Observe that exhale. Notice that it's in the exhale that we release. It's in the inhale that we tend to lift and to hold. But E in this acronym stands for exhale. Focus on that exhale. Long, slow, intentional exhale. E. So N is notice. And I like to say notice your hands. Notice your hands and massage them. This is N in the MOMENT acronym. Massage every part of your hands, front, back, every finger from the bottom to the top, this fleshy part of your thumb, massage. Notice your hands. Examine them. Are you clenching or holding tension anywhere? <sighs> Let your exhale and your hand massage be, you know, do them together. Just notice your hands. Massage them squeeze them, right? Put some lotion on them. Just notice that's N. And T, it's the final letter in this acronym. Tell yourself this moment matters. And then you finish your acronym and you can get on with your day. This MOMENT acronym can be used multiple times during the day. Memorize it. Right? Do it. Move your body. Observe how you feel. Move your body. Exhale. Notice your hands. Then tell yourself this moment matters. Try not to get caught up in the, I have so much to do and I'm so busy that I cannot tear myself away from this computer. That's not true. You can find a moment. It feels true, right? It does. It's very real. It feels like you don't have enough time. But I encourage you to take the moment, to find the time, to go through this acronym. And you, by doing that, you're focusing on all the good things. You're getting up and you're moving your body. You're observing, you're being present right? You're focusing on the exhale. And then you're telling yourself, this moment matters. Because it does. You matter. And you should take care of you. And knowing the brain research about the amygdala and what you're able to do to that stress response area of your brain, and knowing what you can do to that prefrontal cortex that thinking and planning and emotion controlling center of our brain, you can change the structure, the size of that gray matter of that brain, your brain, over time, with practice. We're not talking hours a day. We're talking 
in the moments, in the little moments, the few minutes that it took you to go through the moment acronym makes a difference. I encourage you to find time for a regular practice and to keep it simple. Focus on an acronym like MOMENT. Right? We can all do that. So let's review the quote again today from James Baraz and hear what he says one more time. Mindfulness is simply being aware of what is happening right now without wishing it were different. Enjoying the pleasant without holding on when it changes, which it will. Being with the unpleasant without fearing it will always be this way, which it won't. So I hope today that you find some time to be in this moment. Let's do it one more time. M, move your body, get up, stretch, reach, walk, take this acronym with you. The sun is shining here, it's beckoning me outside. Find a way to move your body, whatever makes sense, right? O, observe how you feel, what did you notice? M, move your body again, get up, get going, stretch, reach, run in place, Whatever you got to do. Downward dog. Do some yoga. E, exhale. Focus on that extended exhale. N, notice your hands. Right? Rub them together. Be intentional. T, tell yourself this moment matters. So I hope today you find some time to live in the moment. Thank you so much for being here. And we'll see you next time.